I love you. I'll see you soon. Love you, baby. We are all thrilled to be here today to celebrate your love for each other as you unite your lives in marriage. A strong marriage fills us with happiness and it is good to be happy. Increasingly, you will learn how great it is to fall further in love with each other and how your marriage will certainly bring you more profound happiness. This kind of love that Paul writes about to the Corinthian church, especially as part of a good marriage, it makes us happy. But marriage is the classroom where you learn to love more deeply. Marriage is intended to make us better people, not just happy people. Love is the goal of our lives, filling our lives with beauty and truth and meaning. And marriage is a deeply significant relationship that helps us reach this goal. Marriage leads us deeper into these truest forms of love. And you should never forget that your truest and deepest love for each other is made, made possible because of God's boundless love for you. God is love. So God is patient and kind and not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. Who better to guide you and empower you and transform you into the purest and deepest kind of love than our God who is love. Now that Emily and Matthew have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I declare to you that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. You may now kiss your bride. It is my profound honor to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Rigsby.